Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to discuss some important questions of the chapter Force and Laws of Motion. So it's going to be very interesting and if you are doing your revisions then this would be very helpful for you. Okay. So let's just start. Let's just start with the very first topic and the very first question from this chapter. And the question is differentiate between balanced and unbalanced force. So this was the very first topic which we discussed in this chapter. Now let's discuss the answer. Aakhir ye balanced force or unbalanced force mein difference kya hota hai? The very first point is the resultant in the balanced force is always zero. And the resultant force in the unbalanced force is not equal to zero. Next, we can also discuss that balance force is responsible for a body to be at rest, whereas unbalance force is responsible for a body to be in motion. That means if you have to bring a body into motion which was initially at rest, you need to apply unbalanced force. So these are the two points which differentiates between balanced and unbalanced force. The next question that is, what is inertia? And discuss its types. So we have already discussed inertia many times in the classes and in the online videos also. Let's discuss the answer. आखिर ये inertia होती क्या? The property by virtue of which a body at rest continues to be at rest and opposes motion, or a body in motion continues to be in motion and opposes rest, is known as inertia. Now we know that inertia is basically of three types: inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and inertia of direction. What is inertia of motion? If a body is in motion, it tends to be in motion and opposes to come at rest. This is inertia of motion. What is inertia of rest? If a body is at rest, it will continue to be at rest and it will oppose to come in motion. This is because of inertia of rest. And what is inertia of direction? If a body is moving in a particular direction, it will tend to move in the same direction, and it will oppose if you change its direction of motion. So this is inertia and its types. Okay. Now the next question is, what is Newton's first law of motion? And the answer is, Newton's first law of motion states that a body at rest. Continues to be at rest, and a body in uniform motion continues to be in uniform motion until and unless some external force is applied to it. And this is what Newton's first law of motion states that. Okay, बहुत ही simple सा law. एक body अगर rest पे है, तो वो rest पे रहने की कोशिश करेगी. जब तक आप उसे कोई external force apply नहीं करते उसपे. In a very similar way, if a body is in uniform motion. वो तब तक यूनिफॉर्म मोशन करती रहेगी जब तक आप किसी एक्सटर्नल फोर्स को अप्लाई करके उसके स्टेट को चेंज ना करो सो दिस इज द न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज व्हाट आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अनबैलेंस फोर्स ये अनबैलेंस फोर्स आखिर क्या क्या इफेक्ट क्रिएट करता है बॉडी में सो देर आर बेसिकली थ्री इफेक्ट ऑफ अनबैलेंस फोर्स फर्स्ट इट चेंजेस द स्पीड ऑफ द बॉडी Second, it changes the direction of the body, and third, it changes both speed and direction. So it is very simple. एक unbalanced force तीन effect create करता है. First, speed को change कर देता है body की. Second, if a body is moving in a particular direction, तो उसका वो direction change कर देता है. And third, speed and direction both uh, uh, things are changed. So these are the effects of unbalanced. The next question is: Even after completing the race, an athlete still moves a particular distance. Why? ऐसा क्यों होता है कि एथलीट ने रेस कंप्लीट कर दिया है फिर भी वो थोड़ी देर तक दौड़ता रहता है एंड दी आंसर इज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन ओके सो ये इनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन क्या करता है कि इनिशियली द बॉडी वॉज इन मोशन so still the body is trying to be in motion and opposing the state of rest and that is why it is very difficult for an athlete to comes to rest suddenly after completing the race 
एंड दैट इज वाई स्लोली एंड स्लोली धीरे धीरे एक एथलीट रेस्ट पे आता है सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ एनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन ना लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेन अ पर्सन इज मूविंग इन अ बस एंड द ड्राइवर सडनली अप्लाइज द ब्रेक्स द पर्सन फील्स अ जर्क वाई अगेन द आंसर इज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ एनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन ना यू सी इनिशियली द बस वॉज इन मोशन एंड दैट इज वाई द पर्सन स्टैंडिंग और सिटिंग इन द बस इज ऑल्सो इन मोशन ना सून आफ्टर द ब्रेक्स वॉर अप्लाइड द बॉडी वॉज ब्रॉड टू रेस्ट बट हमारी बॉडी की टेंडेंसी क्या है दैट इफ वी आर इन मोशन इट विल ट्राई टू बी इन मोशन ओनली एंड विल अपोज रेस्ट सो दिस बॉडी अपोज द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट and that is why we fall in the forward direction when the brakes are applied okay so i hope you have understood jab bus mein ya kisi bhi vehicle mein brake lagaya jata hai so body tends to fall forward because of the inertia of motion why because the body is opposing to come at the state of rest and it is still trying to be in motion okay now let's come to the uh, next question again a very similar pattern the next question is when a person is sitting on in a train and the train suddenly starts the person feels a jerk and he or she moves in the backward direction why now this time the answer is inertia of rest you see the body was initially at rest and that is why when the train is suddenly coming into motion our body is opposing the state of motion and is trying to be at rest only and that is why the train is trying to bring us uh, into motion and move in the forward direction but what is our body doing it is trying to be at rest and that is why we are moving in the opposite direction of the motion so this is the answer it is because of inertia of rest okay now let's come to the next question the next question is what is momentum and what is its unit so momentum is the product of mass and velocity i repeat momentum is the product of mass and velocity and its unit is kg meter per second a very similar question what is the unit of rate of change of momentum and the answer is kg meter per second square so this was the unit of rate of change of momentum let's come to the next question which is what is newton's second law of motion and the answer is newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the unbalanced force and this is what newton's second law of motion states the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the unbalanced force और इसी रिलेशनशिप को जब हम यूज करेंगे तो फर्दर वील गेट अ फॉर्मूला एंड दैट इज फोर्स इज इक्वल टू मास इनटू एक्सेलरेशन ओके सो यू विल नॉट से दैट न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टेट्स दैट फोर्स इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मास एंड एक्सेलरेशन ऐसा नहीं कहना है यू हैव टू से दैट द अनबैलेंस फोर्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम और इसी को यूज करके फोर्स इज इक्वल टू मास इंटू एक्सेलरेशन का फॉर्मूला आता है ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज न्यूटन second law of motion now a very similar question related to the newton second law and the question is why a cricketer moves his hand in the backward direction when he takes a catch jab koi cricketer catch leta hai to apne haath ko piche kyu move karta hai and the answer is it is done to increase the time period for a body to come at rest now the point is ऐसा क्या होता है कि अगर हम टाइम पीरियड को बढ़ा देंगे तो हमारी बॉडी में या कुछ अलग एक इफेक्ट क्रिएट होगा सो लेट्स सी दी फॉर्मूला फॉर द न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन विच इज फोर्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम एंड इफ यू लुक एट द फॉर्मूला क्लियरली यू विल सी दैट द फोर्स एंड द टाइम पीरियड टू कम एट रेस्ट इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल दैट मीन्स ग्रेटर द टाइम पीरियड lesser will be the force created by the body okay time period ko hum jitna increase kar denge 
बॉडी उतना कम फोर्स अप्लाई करेगी एंड दैट इज वाई क्रिकेटर्स वाइल टेकिंग द कैच अपने हाथ को ऐसे पीछे मूव करते हैं वॉट आर दे डूइंग दे आर इंक्रीजिंग द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द बॉडी टू कम एट रेस्ट एंड इफ द टाइम पीरियड इज इंक्रीज द फोर्स अप्लाइड बाय द बॉडी इज डिक्रीज और हाथ पे कम फोर्स उनको फील होता है ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज न्यूटन थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एंड द आंसर इज फॉर एवरी एक्शन देर इज इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिएक्शन सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर न्यूटन थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टेट दैट फॉर एवरी एक्शन वी हैव इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिएक्शन एक्शन इज ऑलवेज गिवन बाई द फर्स्ट बॉडी एंड रिएक्शन इज ऑलवेज गिवन बाय द सेकेंड बॉडी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर रिकॉयल इन अ गन एंड द रीजन इज it is because of newton's third law of motion now when the action is provided by the gun to the bullet a reaction force is also given by the bullet to the gun and that is why the person who holds the gun feels a jerk on his hand and this is known as the recoil in a gun when you shoot at a particular place at a particular point you'll miss the target and that is because the bullet is applying a reaction force to the gun and that is why the person holding the gun misses the shot it is because of the motion of the gun let's come to the next question and that is what is law of conservation of momentum it's a very simple law and it states that momentum before and after the collision remains conserved i repeat momentum before the collision momentum after the collision remains conserved and this is what new uh, law of conservation of momentum states so these were some practice questions for you all i hope you all have understood all the answers so that's all in this video thank you everyone and have a good day